Hello and welcome to our new tutorial on Scratch and working with NDI in which we will explain what NDI is, how to use it and why it's awesome. So let's start right away with what is NDI. The best way to think of NDI is just like SDI but without the cables. So let's assume you have two machines, machine A and machine B and you want to send video from one machine to the other. How would you do that? Well, you would do that via SDI, which means you need some video I.O. hardware on machine A that outputs the video as an SDI signal, and you need some hardware I.O. on the uh, other machine to capture the SDI signal, and you need to pull a cable in between the two machines. Now with NDI, it has become a little bit simpler. Basically, NDI is using your existing uh, network infrastructure, be it Wi-Fi or Ethernet, doesn't matter, but it's being sent via network. And with that, you don't have to necessarily have uh, expensive video I.O. on both ends, but you just send it as a network signal. But there's more let's look at a single machine with two applications on it, A and B. Now imagine you want to send a live signal from one application to the other. How would you traditionally do that? Well, you would first add some video I.O. again for application A to output SDI, and you would add another piece of video I.O. into that same machine to be reserved for application B and then you would connect the two using an SDI cable and have one application output SDI through one device and the other application capture it again through another device. That's a pretty ridiculous setup. So let's see how that's done with NDI. Well, very simple. The signal does not even have to leave the machine. It's just being sent straight from one application to another, no hardware involved. And this enables uh, pretty much all Assimilate products, but in this video we'll be focusing on Scratch and Play Pro to communicate and send video to a whole number of other applications such as OBS or Skype or Zoom or Setstream.io through Chrome browser and so on and so on. And of course that is all not just limited to one machine, but you can send it to another app on another machine on the same network or even on the same VPN. For instance, using NDI's free Studio Monitor app to display the NDI stream. And the best of it all, it's all pretty much without delays or latencies whatsoever. Now before we get to uh, set up NDI inside Scratch, there are a few little helper tools that you can download for free uh, from this webpage, ndi.tv slash tools. So let's quickly have a look at what these tools are. Here we are on that page and you can already see here's a quick list of tools that are in the package we will be downloading. And all these little apps are being introduced here. So first and foremost there's the NDI Studio Monitor app. Uh, it's basically just a player to display any NDI stream that is on the network. It's super simple to use. You just start it, you select your stream, and there you go. Next is the NDI Scan Converter app, uh, which you can use to, for instance, capture your screen or a specific application on your screen and turn that screen capture into an NDI stream to be sent on to other NDI compatible applications. The most important app, however, is this one, NDI Virtual Input. What does that do? Well, it can capture an NDI stream, for example from scratch, and convert it into a webcam-like signal. So all the applications that cannot read NDI natively, or even read SDI natively, such as Skype or Zoom, you can feed the video in there using this NDI Virtual Input app because it makes your NDI stream look like a webcam to all these apps and instead of your actual webcam you would select the NDI webcam so to speak inside these apps and get your stream this way into Zoom, Skype and what have you more. 
Now let's take a look at how to set up NDI in Scratch. And let me take one thing away up front. You set it up the very same way you would set up an SDI output. So here we are on the startup screen of Scratch. I'll go to the system settings here in the general tab and click the configure button for the video IO settings. In the top left corner, you can see all the installed devices. There is uh, my AJAT tab that I use to output actual SDI. There's also Omniscope and ScopeLink, and there's also NDI now. I select that, I turn it on, I choose my resolution and frame rate, I can choose the format I want to output in here, and for Scratch and Play Pro, what matters are these four output channels. Usually for Scratch and Play Pro, you only really need one output channel to output through. Okay, hit apply settings, hit close, okay, enter our project. Here I already have a clip that I can play back. I'll go in here, and if I now go to the settings and to the monitors tab, you can see that next to my AJA T tab, and my Omniscope and Scope Link outputs, I have NDI output number one. And now I can hit play and minimize scratch. And now let's see what we can do with the NDI stream coming from scratch. Obviously, the easiest way to check whether the stream works is to just go ahead and start Mutex free video monitor app. And this application is just there to show you um, the NDI streams that are available on your network and it is super simple to operate. Basically all you have to do is go to the file drop down here and that lists all the machines on your local network that are outputting an NDI stream. Right now that's only my MacBook here. And for each machine list all the NDI streams that it outputs. And again right now that's just this one stream from scratch. So if I select that I can view my stream right here in the viewer. Okay, but of course, uh, there's other apps that we can pipe the stream into. So let's minimize that and start, uh, let's start OBS to, for instance, stream the content on to say YouTube or whatever streaming portal we like. So I'll select my scene, I hit the plus icon and I choose NDI source. Okay, and again, from this dropdown, we can choose the machine and the stream that we want to have, like such, hit okay, and there we go. There's our stream right out of scratch. Uh, for NDI to work inside OBS, you need to install these two plugin packages, which you can get uh, uh, from the web. That's fairly straightforward. And uh, this way you can get uh, whatever you're doing in Scratch into OBS. And inside here you can, of course, uh, arrange the picture and what have you not. Okay, uh, being done with that, here's another scenario. How about getting our NDI stream from Scratch into Skype or Zoom? For this, we have, as I said at the beginning, this little app called NDI Virtual Input which I will start now. And this just gives you this little icon in the taskbar. So if I click that, again, I can just select the machine and the stream I want to convert into a webcam-like signal. If I now go ahead and start Zoom, because I might want to do a conference call or something, and go to the settings here, go to the video menu, then as you can see right now, you're looking at my face. Hi friends. Uh, and instead of my FaceTime HD camera, I can just choose NDI video. And I should, of course, disable my virtual background. Here we go. And maybe not mirror it. All right, and now I have uh, the stream straight out of Scratch right here in Zoom. And if I go into Scratch, uh, maybe we can do some color grading, but as you can see, the latency is really, really low. Uh, let me just bring down the, uh, the gain or the gamma even better, make it really dark. And I'll just reset it. It's almost instant. NDI is really 
an awesome addition to Scratch because it allows you to get your signal into anywhere. And uh, all the steps that I showed here in this video, of course, also apply to Windows. Same NDI tools are also available for Windows and uh, the plugins are also available for OBS to be installed. If you want to see a practical example of how to use NDI in your client attended uh, remote grading sessions, check out the link in the description showing you Jeff Souza on how he has set up uh, NDI with Scratch with Setstream.io, After Effects and OBS all at the same time. Well, and lastly, before we leave off uh, this tutorial, imagine all this with live camera signals using our live tools, which I'll cover in another tutorial. See you soon. Bye.